Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. It is the 14th of June, I think. I think it is. Anyway, um, last episode, um, I've literally just loaded this up and found this craft because, uh, yeah, and I was expecting it to be the bottom of the list. It's not, of course, because we launched it so long ago. So, yeah, last episode, we uh, we went, uh, we got our craft back from Gilly. We got our two crew still on board. Uh, we have got the milestone, which is we've returned home from a flyby of Gilly. We've returned home from an orbit of Gilly. You don't get much for that, do you? I mean, it's like 60,000. So, okay. Uh, and then we're going to recover this vessel and see what happens. We're going to see how much science we get. And I forgot to look at the science and before we recovered the vessel. I've just realized that. I can't remember how much we had, but it will probably show me. I'm guessing it's going to show me somehow. It'll it'll, it'll to show me the total, I think, and then the amount that we got off the craft. Uh, let's have a look. So we got... 1,500 earned. Oh, so 2,000 science. Right, okay. That's... um. Wow, and you, you're all level four now. Well, I really feel bad about launching that, that ELU mission. Um, we, we could we could send another one, maybe? No, I think I have a mission for you to actually thinking about it. Right, um, let's have a think. What do I want to spend this on? Um, do I want, do I want those? I don't want those. Uh, I, don't, I don't need that. Ion, we're never going to, uh, or not important. Uh, what's that? Rover bits, not vastly important. He, I would like the heat shield. Get that. Um, we'll have that. Um, probably, maybe need those? Probably not. Um, eh, the biggest heat shield we can, we'll have that. I suppose I should get these, shouldn't I? So that it unlocks this stuff. And do I want any of that? We could build shuttles. Shuttles are tempting. Um... What's down this line? Uh, do I get SST or I do? That's the SST or what? Oh, what I forgot. I am propulsion. I don't want. I don't want that. Uh, what does that gives me? Fuel cells. That gives. Ah, you know what? I actually did want this. Um, damn. I need a thousand for that. I've misspent my science. Oh, I wanted that because I am acutely aware of the fact that when we go to, we go to um, to Jewel. Those solar panels are not going to give me much in the way of power. Now, I could do the little trick with the fuel cells. How much does that give you? How much does that give you? 18 per second. I could run a craft off its fuel cells. And I think you can do that. I think you can use power to convert the ore into the fuel, and then you can use the fuel to regenerate the power. So we'll do that. And we'll strap a couple onto that, I think. All right. Um, let's have a look at the mission situation. Active. Uh, Duna. Moho, we need to get at some point. Mun, Mun, need to get some. Well, actually, where's Mun sitting? We've got eight years on that. Need to think about that if we're going to go far. Uh, Duna's underway. Uh, what would we have available? Uh, I don't want I don't want you. Um, I don't want you. Uh, detect two of you. Uh, might as well, because you're just going to run. Um Map 10 of those. I'm not doing that again. Finish construction the robot. Never doing that. New surface outpost of Minmus. Not having that. Five. Infra no. Surface of Minmus. Science. Do I have a crew on Minmus that I can do something with? No, I don't. Let's not mess around with that. Uh, sandstone back with you. Don't want that. We're just doing asteroid missions, isn't it? Flag on Dres. We've already done that. Have I? I think, yeah, we've already done that mission. Not doing that. Not doing that. Right, I think we're we're just gonna go around in there, so we're gonna stop that. So we wanna plant a flag on the moon. I am going to run a test mission. That's what I'm gonna do. So the mission I wanna run is I wanna send our craft to Jewel. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to the moon first. And if you're not if you're not uh, aware of what craft I'm talking about, it is our dual craft. Let me just find it. Where are you? Julie, Julie. Uh, did I call it the dual one? I think I called it the dual one. Uh, I can't I can't remember the alphabet anymore. That's terrible. Dual one. There we go. Right. This is the craft. Now I think what I want to do is where's our fuel cells? We've got the new advanced fuel cell. To, they're huge. How much do they weigh? Um, that's a good question. Um, how is that going to impact my? It only takes it down by two, like twelve. How much does that do? I could have just got the small ones, couldn't I? Are they not as efficient? 
takes 0.9.2 gets 18. I don't know what the ratios there are. I think this is better. So I want one. Um, where to put it? Well, there is an option. And it's not a pretty one. Uh, I think I'm going to... Um, it's going to be a bit cheaty. We're going to put it in the middle. I am going to slide it delicately down into here, like so. There we go. Can I click on it? Yes, I can. Now, that's not at all cheaty. Don't talk to me about that. I think you, you will find that is completely acceptable. We have given up some of the crew capacity uh, in this area here. It's fine. There's only two people going on it. It's not a problem. Uh, right. Do click off that. Right, what, what are the options? Um, okay. So I'm going to lock that off, actually. Because do you need electric charge in it for it to work? I don't know. Right, I think that's good. Well, I think that's good. It's, it's it's going to be good. It's not got much choice. Right, so that's the dual one. Save it. Right, so I need to get this. I need to get this to the moon. And how much one put it? I don't feel the need. I think, what's it, actually, what's its delta V when it's in orbit? That's, uh, that's the interesting one. Vacuum. It's got 3,000. Um, because it's designed to land on the big one, isn't it? On Tylo. Uh, what do I need to go to Moon? For Moon, I need about a thousand to get to Moon. So one thousand two hundred to circularize. Then about six hundred, so twelve. So I need about two and a half thousand. So so that's enough, I think, to go to Moon and get back up from Moon. Okay. So I just need to get into orbit. Right. So, I think we put this thing, I think we put this thing in moon orbit and then we send another craft to go dock with it and put the crew on board and then the crew can do what the crew does, I think is what I want to do. I think that's the way to do it. Also gives me a reason for having this small docking port on the top. Um, right, um, so with that in mind, Let's just move this up. I need to build a launch vehicle underneath it. Uh, what are my windows, actually? What about coming up? 55 days to Dres return. Okay, so we can get this in um, before the Dres return. Right. Um, what have I got that's got a big... Uh, don't say that. What have I got that's got a big launch stage? Um, Gilly Dres? Gilly Mark 1? Merge it. What's that launch stage look like? What is what does this look like? Um, that's big, actually, isn't it? Uh, will it will it be big enough? Though is the question. Um, the problem I'm now going to have is I've got that docking port there. Um, da -da -da -da, I want a decoupler, probably. Let's think. Let's so let's actually get this sorted. So I want a decoupler. Um, there we go. I'm going to put you there. Up there. Thank you. And then I want something below that that's actually going to give me a bit of height. So let's take a little fuel tank or something. There we go. That's perfect. All right. Then I want um, to pop this on there. What's this going to give me? What are these? That's those engines and those engines and that decouples. Oh, good. So that's, uh, that's a lot. Is it? Is that a lot? That's, uh, that's not it. That's in vacuum. So sea level. What's my thrust there? Well, that goes up. So does that. And that. That's a that's a heavy. It's a heavy weight, isn't it? I mean, the option actually thinking about it is. And I hadn't thought about this. Once this has been up, we could just refuel it. It could refuel itself on the moon. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Okay, so this could be potentially, this could be potentially not as not as costly as I think it is. Right. Um. Get rid of that. So I now need to take uh, this off here and I need to put a some sort of uh, thing on there. What size is that though? I need a, I need a fairing, a payload fairing of some size. Where's my payload fairings? Can I use the right size? Yeah, that's, I think, I think what we do know already is that, that this is going to be ugly as a sin. Um, let's have a look, uh, a bit like that, a bit like that. Uh, a bit like that and then like that there we go it's not at all dodgy not at all 
Oh, that is, that's another special one, isn't it? That is another special, with fins. Uh, I can hear you now. I can hear you all shouting. You've got to have fins because that is horrendous and you're right. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put four fins on it because, because that's the level of, that's the level of importance I place on fins. There we go. Look at that. Oof, that's going to fix it. That's, that's fixed it. We should have a lot of gimbal on these engines. Actually, we'll run them. We'll run them. I'm going to be running them at full attack, I believe, because we're going to need it because this is heavy. Um, I think this transfer stage should be enough. I mean, do I need, do I need that transfer stage? Probably. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, that, that should do it. That's in atmospheric as well. And I think that stage, you know what? I don't think I actually need that. Let's just take that off for a second. What does that do from, oh, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, no, 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 no. We need to, we need to pull that down a bit. We need, a, we need another tank in there, don't we? Let's put that in there. Um, no, I need to get rid of that. What was going to be an easy build has now become, as always, the it takes a bit longer than you thought build because you've got to do other stuff. Right, okay, so we're going to pop that there. That's going to go to there. There we go. And we're going to change that because that looks absolutely horrible. All right. Let's see. So we take off 1.7. What's your, what's your thruster weight now looking at? Oh, it's very healthy. Then that decouples. That's going to take me to 2,000. And then this stage in the center has a crap. Lord crap is that a swear word have I just been demonetized probably ah well right um we want um struts and things now I'm going to attach them to the craft for once because I realized that I will actually need to keep them um so let's have a look strutties strutty rutties um one there uh two there and I'm actually going to put a fair few on um a fair few on because um it actually serves my purpose to have extra ones on this craft for the future in case I need to attach something to it. There we go. Right. I think that's us done. I think that is good. So, next question. Who are we going to put on this thing? Now, I was going to send a pilot. Um, I've got a control crawl there. I've got an antenna somewhere. Away. That's the antenna, isn't it? It is. Um, so, I guess we could put anybody in it. Um question is who now the obvious choices are not you or you i want to bring i want to send a pilot to do the docking so it's going to be probably dilkin god dilkin is actually going to end up being our best pilot that's terrifying we're going to send the um isaac and i need to send an engineer i should send a pilot although i'm going to need a pilot on the docking craft Oh, this is debatable. What would you do in this situation? What would you do? Would you send a pilot on this? Um, I'm going to take the crew off this, actually. So it doesn't matter who it is. So you know what? We're going to send a pilot and an engineer. Yeah, we're going to send those two. They're going to be the shakedown crew. Well, that's what we're doing. That's how it's happening. We've got a minute to go. I think I'm ready. It's a lot of funding. Right. Um, let's launch it, I think. I think let's launch it. Right, the aim here will be, I need to get this into orbit and I'm probably going to launch this at the start of this, at the end of this episode, if I can get things going. And you're probably going to see it at the end of the, at the end. I'm going to start of this episode, end the next one, that doesn't work. You're going to see the launch at the start, end of this episode, the start of the next. Um, that's if I don't kill both of these crew, because I have just realized that I do not have any safety mechanisms because this doesn't have parachutes. This is not designed to come back, is it? I've just remembered that. Um, they have parachutes, but who would I save? Uh, yeah, so, sorry about that, Senok. I think we both know who it's going to be. All right. Um, everything's good. Fire the engines off we go. Right, okay. I've got about 40 seconds. So if this goes wrong, it's going to go wrong quickly. Uh, or not at all in this episode, because this episode will, of course, end in 39 seconds. So I want to start turning this over. Um, we are actually going at full attack right now. I could, I could pull back a bit. And give us a little bit if i'm going to i'm going to just, just pop it back just a little bit primarily because we've now got to that speed where the air resistance is going to be just causing us a little bit of problems just a, a few little problems this is i can feel this this is really you know what i wonder if anybody will ever develop a feedback joystick for kerbal 
because I would be I would be feeling the feedback on this now. I think I'd be feeling a push. You can see they're starting to get the the build up there of things. We've got how long have we got left on this stage? We got 24 seconds. Oh, and that is it for this episode. So from me until next time, have a great one.